All right, guys. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Um, so we're out here on Santee Cooper uh, down in South Carolina. I've actually never fished this lake before. I don't do much uh, lake fishing, mostly rivers in North Carolina. So this is going to be new to me. Um, I honestly think these uh, fish are going to be starting to spawn. Uh, I'm probably push up in some of these creek beds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start working some uh, islands that are closer to the creeks. Uh, that have a lot of uh, cypress uh, trees. So I'm going to start flipping them and see if we can get some bites that way and then we'll start working our way into the um the creek channels and you know see if we can get some bass that are possibly uh spawning uh or um starting to move up to spawn uh that are in the channel so guys appreciate you sticking with my channel y'all hitting that subscribe button helps the channel a lot um guys it is free to subscribe follow my channel if you uh like my content and stay tuned I'm going to be down here for four days uh, in South Carolina on Sandy Cooper fishing a uh, club tournament uh, this coming weekend on Saturday and Sunday. It's a two-day tournament. I got two days of practice. Let's see if I can't figure them out. Guys, I seen that mudfish swimming up across. I almost thought it was a bass at first, so I threw my wacky rig over there. I got him, that was a fun fight. Uh, he was probably like five pound mudfish. Hey, he's better than catching nothing. Heck yeah, guys. Well guys, that was unexpected. So, right up against these pads, throwing a shaky head, first bass. A Santa Cooper for me, guys. And it's definitely greater than 14 inches, so that would be keeper in a tournament. Heck yeah. We did not zero today.
Man. Guys. That was a five pounder. I know you've seen that on footage. Man. That's all right. All right, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, close out practice day number one. Um, I fished for like six hours. Like I said, I've never been to Santa Cooper before. I got uh, two bites all day. I got one that was a two, two and a half pounder, uh, 16 inches, so it would have been a keeper in a tournament. And then uh, I hooked into a five, six pounder at the boat, uh, flipped up to a tree with a, um, a uh, shaggy head, and uh, seeing my line start to move, set the hook. I, I'm pretty sure I got a pretty good hook set. Uh, definitely didn't have my drag set like I should. It wasn't shaking his head like a bass normally would. Um, thought it might have been a mudfish or a catfish the way it felt, so I was kind of dogging it a little bit more than what I should. And then uh, bass went deep, launched himself in the air, shook his head, and uh, that's all she wrote. But I uh, hope you got to see my footage. Um, if not, hey guys, appreciate you sticking with me. Let's go to day two. All right, guys, we're out here for day two practice of our uh, Sandy Cooper trip. Yesterday we had a uh, two uh, bass that actually bite. Um, so we had two bites yesterday. We had a, a two, two and a half pounder that I caught at 16 inches. May have been a little bit bigger than that, but I'll just call it two, two and a half. And then it was definitely a five or six pound uh, bass that I hooked. Jumped at the boat after fighting it for about 30 seconds. Um, hopefully I got that on film for you guys. And uh, let's see how practice day uh, two pans out. I ran all the way to the north end of the lake. Um, I'm honestly not sure. I think I'm just gonna fish some docks and see if those fish are uh, holding tight to that um, cover because I was fishing um, a lot of cypress trees yesterday and creeks and uh, I didn't have a lot of luck. So try something different. Wish me luck guys. Stay tuned for a uh, two day tournament. Guys, I just lost a four pounder on a cypress tree. Fuck. <laughs> so you see that in front of us right there? See that little shimmer on the water? See that? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's bait fish. They're schooling. That's a school bait fish. Giant? Oh yeah, grab a net, grab a net. Big. I snagged him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. dude. Here we go. Dude, third fucking cast, bro. <laughs> oh, yes. That's about a four pounder right there. No, it's the same. I think it's the same size. Oh, yeah, it should be. Same I think it's three and a half. Might be a four pounder. <sighs> Heck yeah, guys! Look at that baby. It's a bass, it's a bass. Hold the big one. He hung up on something. Yeah, I can still see him fighting though. I can see it.
Is it gone? Yep. <laughs> I got my good. You go straight down. Oh. Yep. Oh, there we go. Guess what? Ooh, that was close. shallow, dude. How shallow? Yeah. How about a pretty bad net job? Put, it's on a fucking pile. My bad. Pretty bad net job on my pile. It dude, it's good. We got it, man. Hey, bro. Ooh. First fish. First one. Pretty First early, too. My wacky rig, black and red. You know what it is? I don't think it had to do anything with color. I think he was sitting on a bed or some shit back there. You think so? Yeah. Could be spawning. Or, or this might be a male. Yeah, he looks too small. He could be a male. Yeah, guys. Got me all wrapped up. My co angler came to save the day. Heck yeah. That's all he has to be. Things gonna be like fucking. I don't think it's gonna be that big, dude. He's probably like. Oh no, he's long though. That's the smallest one I've caught here. Dinker. Keep him down, keep him down. Drop shot again? Yeah. Oh, he's big, dude. Yeah, he's not bad. Come on. Okay, right. I don't have Coming up. Yes. Hey, put the back, bro. Oh, yes. There you go, man. That was worth the run. Yeah. That was bigger than mine. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Yeah. Coming in hot. Huh? 